Hey, Coach. I'm glad you found us on YouTube. Um, I hope you enjoy the basketball uh, drill that's coming up. If you are here, you're probably a basketball coach. I want you to go check us out over at teachhoops.com, up here or down there. I don't think you'll be disappointed. 14-day free trial if you just decide to join lots and lots and lots and lots of great resources. So go check it out, um, and I hope you enjoy the drill. Thanks. All right, let's do a uh, four-man weave next. All right, so this is a little bit of a variation. Um, you know, most people know three-man weave. A lot of people know five-man weave. Um, you know, five-man weave is a great drill. It's kind of a variation of this. Um, but what's going to happen is you're going to cut five-man weave. You cut behind two, and you end up three-on-two, two-on-one, one-on-one. This one's going to be a little different. So Augustine's going to go and pass. So we're going to start in four. One of the two middle guys is going to start with the ball. So Augustine's going to start and pass it to Brett, okay, and stop. He's going to cut behind two people, okay. So it's cutting behind two people and then one person, two people and then one person. So Brett's got it here. He's going to pass it to Ben. Okay, Ben's going to pass it to Drew and cut behind two, behind one. All right, now stop. The passer and shooter are back. So if you're doing five-man weave, you'd start in the middle because it would be evenly matched. It would be two on each side, and um, you'd cut behind two, and then we'd have three on two. This drill, we've got two on two. So the passer and shooter are back. Who's passer and shooter? Those two are back. Now we're going two on two. All right, stop. Now the shooter is back. And now the two defenders is go two on one. And then a little bit of a wrinkle to this drill. All right, so Ben shoots it, stop. Now we come back and go one on one. The defender's on offense, the person that shoots it or turns it over, all right, is going in the other direction. And it's one on one. All right, go. Now, great drill. It's a great drill for a couple of reasons. It teaches everything that you want. It teaches transition, it teaches talking, it teaches passing, it teaches defense. It teaches everything that we kind of need um, going into um, you know, into the season. We'll, we'll do five-man weave, we'll do four-man weave, we'll do all of them. Is there anything new with this? No. I mean, most people are probably watching this have seen four-man weave or five-man weave, but I felt like I had to put it on because it does a little bit of everything. You know, a good drill does communication, does passing, does defense, does a little bit of everything, and this drill does that. So we're going to do it one more time. Four-man weave is not really one that's talked about. Um, if we did five-man weave, the only difference would be all right, I would be here, all right, <clears throat> Ben's in the middle, he would pass to the side, and then he would cut behind two guys. I would get it here, I would pass to Augustine, I would cut behind two guys. All right, let's stop. Now let's go back and do four-man. We do that all the way down, okay, so the only difference between five-man weave and four-man weave is then you would be three on two, two on one, one on one. Um, but with four-man weave, you're just going to have a two on two, which is a little bit different, that's why we do it. You know, it's even. Um, one thing with these drills, especially five-man weave, is you need to make sure that they're not overpassing. And I can't actually believe I'm saying that out of my mouth because my teams have never overpassed. But um, you, you, they, what they do sometimes is you'll, they'll get a three-on-two and they'll make two or three passes. You don't have ch time to do that. You can make one or two passes and then you've got to get it out and go. All right, let's do one trip of four-man weave. All right, ready? Go. Good, two on one then, stay wide, that's it, good pass, that's one on one, who shot, yep, and again, that's a pretty basic thing, you know, well, you know, I won't get on these guys, but you know, I always get on our guys that if they're not talking, you know, Augustine forgot that he was supposed to be back on defense, 
it's not only Augustine's fault, it's everyone else's because they weren't communicating to him. So, you know, I really do a good uh, a point of emphasizing that, that they got to communicate and talk about what they need to do on that. Um, but again, a great drill. I think it does a little bit of everything.